Hi, I'm Thomas from Centigrade and I'm here at Developer Week in Nuremberg and today I'm going to show you XAML board which is a tool that uh, takes away the pain from WPF developers to retrieve and manage WPF resources. So it's basically an electronic style guide that shows you your entire theme in a visual kind of way so that you as a view developer can just consume the styles and apply them without knowing any style key. So let me show you this. I've got a XAML board here on the right. Normally it runs on a tablet um, because it's, it's touch capable and um, we can, for example, run it on the Surface tablet on a, another ultra bug. But in this case, um, I'm going to show you in one screen so that you can really follow uh, how things go in between Visual Studio and XAML board. So let me create a new project here. And let's suppose I want to create two radio buttons that look a bit nicer than the standard radio buttons of WPF. So I can use standard XAML here. And I do, don't need blend, actually. I can use just Visual Studio and XAML board. I don't need blend. Um, I say, OK, let me do this horizontally. And um, let's have two radio buttons in there. The first one goes like first, and the second one goes, you name it, second. Um, and of course, nothing special here. The radio buttons look pretty standard. There is a parser error here. Let's like this, get rid of this. Okay, so we have the two WPF standard radio buttons. And now I want to make them nice. I want to beautify them. So I, I go to XAML board and I know, okay, I want this first radio button to look a bit nicer. I know it's a radio button. Okay, let me check what XAML board has to offer for this kind of control. And um, as you can see here, all the matching styles are highlighted. If I go back, I can see the entire theme. If I go forth again, um, I see the styles that match my search criteria. And it's pretty fast. I, I can um, um, type in whatever I like and uh, it scrolls me and brings me to whatever position I want. So in this case, I already like what I see. So I'd say I want this with a rounded corner. I can play around with it because it's, of course, lively rendered as WPF control. Um, I can see in which XAML file it resides. I can see from which XAML files it's merged. And if I want to use it, I just tell XAML board insert into Visual Studio and it will do so. And as you can see, it inserts the entire merge dictionary statements that I require in order to use this style. So I can see it's obviously it's defined in radio button resources.xaml and obviously it needs an assembly that's called exact themes, exact loan themes. So um, basically XAML board just told me please reference this assembly in order to render this style. So I, I um, go to the solution explorer and I add a reference and there it is. There's the DLL that I need and boom, I can see that the radio button is styled properly. So let's go to the second one and let's choose another option. Let's choose this style and I insert it here and boom, there you got the second one. So basically for a view developer it's just consuming styles. You see what you like and you apply it to Visual Studio and you don't need blend. Um, so let me take the other example again because this fits a bit better, the second tab and let's make this top aligned so that, that um, it looks more like a tab control and now for example I want uh, to style the grid and to assign it a background color. So I just type in background and instead of choosing the options that Visual Studio uh, presents me I go to XAML board 
and I just type, type in I want a background color and I know it's um, it has something to do with tab and boom from all the colors in my themes in the wink of an eye it just presents me the color that matches my search criteria. So I can check where the color is uh, defined, okay that's good, uh, please apply it to my grid and there you go, I got the, the style definition, I do not need to remember the style key because XamilBot does everything for me. XamilBot takes control um, and if I insert something that has a, a certain namespace, it will take care of inserting the namespaces in the XAML declaration. So it's basically pretty intelligent. Um, we call it smart insertion. You, as a view developer, don't have to care where the style comes from and what's it called. Um, let me show you a last example that's interesting for a view developer because you can use XAML board as an electronic style guide, for example, to um, to find icons. So um, let's suppose I know I need an arrow icon and I know it's somewhere in the path resources file and there XAML board takes me there. It flies me there because it's it's not um, filtering down my, my resources, it just highlights them on a map, so my entire theme is like a map and I can remember the position where everything resides. So if I found my arrow control and just click it there, I say, I go to the grid and I say insert it here and boom, there is my icon again. And then again I can just visually check if that's what I want, I don't need to remember the style key. So this is pretty pretty cool for a, for a view developer because I don't need to care about design, I just care about coding, I just care about creating screens and applying styles that someone else created for me. Um, but the second, um, the second workflow that you can play with XAMLBoard is that you can be a control developer, or you as a control developer can uh, check whether your controls really work. Or uh, you can uh, take a theme and just copy everything from this theme into your resource dictionary to extend it. Let me check you this, let me show you this use case. So let's suppose I have all my resources here in a map, as you can see here. Zoom out, zoom in. So these are all my resources. It's pretty colorful. And now I want a resource dictionary that contains all these resources within one single XAML file. Because I want to make sure that there are no duplicates because of merge dictionary whatsoever. I just want a clean XAML file that's highly performance optimized with no redundancies. So what I do is I go to Visual Studio to the Solution Explorer and just say, okay, create me a new resource dictionary. Name it whatever, it doesn't matter. And now I want all these resources that XAMLBot shows me in this resource dictionary. So what I can do is just select all the resources in XAMLBot and just say again insert into Visual Studio. There's nothing more about it. It's, uh, XAMLBoard knows exactly what it has to do because it knows that Visual Studio currently has a resource dictionary opened and rather than inserting a reference like you saw in the first example, you now have a, a deep copy of the entire XAML uh, that's necessary to, to view resources. And now you can um, use this highly optimized XAML to, to work on top of that. So that was my little demo uh, of XAMLBoard, hope you liked it and um, please guys visit www.xamlboard.com and join our public beta uh, testing program and we like your guys' feedback, um, so post to our feedback portal, suggestions, ideas or race bugs, whatever. We want to make XAMLBoard better, a better experience and um, so yeah, happy XAMLBoarding.